Hi, welcome back to Forwards. Thanks for watching another video. We just wanted to do a really quick walk around of our latest build in its final specification. This is actually build number 36, so it's, it's out of sync. But this is the, um, the final build that the customer's gonna receive and we'll be delivering this to him tomorrow. So I'll try not to waffle too much. I've had about four or five different attempts at starting this video. So I'll go straight into the frame show you the details of that like we normally do, and then we'll get into the group set, and I'll, I'll try and make it as quick as possible. So it's finished in Porsche chalk gray. It's actually a, a much lighter sort of gray than the um, the Nardo gray, which is uh, an Audi color. Um, I've done a couple of builds in this in this color now, and it is um, it is absolutely awesome. I'm not sure if the, if the video is actually catching how nice the paint looks, but We'll give you a give you a wander around of it. So this is um, uh, integrated chassis. So it, it's got all the cables and the DI2 in that inside, and I'll show you how it goes through the the, the Dennis stem, the DCR stem in a second. But we'll just go back to that frame because I'm jumping about as I always do. So chalk grey with black graphics. So we've got forwards on the down tube there, 30 millimeters high, and then we've um, we always line up the W there with the the top bottle boss. Um, and then the X on the top tube. Graphics are all stenciled in, as always. Then we've got the little Union Jack on the back of the seat tube there. And then we've got the build, as I said before, build 36, just on the inside of the chain stay there. And I'll give you a quick, um, quick look around in the paintwork. So graphics are stenciled, these aren't stickers. And then we've also got all of the shield on as normal. So we've got shield underneath the, um, the down tube there to protect from chipping. We've got the shield on the chain stay. Should just be able to catch the edge there. A little extension on the back just to protect this area. The bits in behind on the, um, the brakes as always, the little bits in there. It's hard to see in there with this. Can't really get there. They're down in there anyway, just have to trust me on that. Um, and then we put a little bit just inside, there you go, you can see that quite well, just inside the fork leg there, just to protect it when you're putting your wheels in and out, which is quite good. So just uh, going on to the frame again, so this has got the um, stainless steel fittings as always. So it's uh, got stainless steel, and then with the X, what we do is we supply it with um, black blanking screws as well. So just uh, a lightweight screw if, um, if the if the customer wants to take any of these out, obviously the bottom ones are probably going to stay in there. But if they wanted to take any of the other mounts and stuff out, they could do that. Uh, we also supply a bridge with a frame which goes in here for, for fitting mud guards if you're going to use it for a winter training bike and stuff as well. Uh, there was there is an option to go black with the the bolts, the stainless steel bolts. But actually, I although initially I thought it might look quite cool in this build, I think they might stand out too much. So it might look a bit silly with it. So. We've actually gone with the, um, the silver stainless instead on the frame. So this is a, um, a medium frame size. This is the same as the same size frame as I race. It's a 49 centimeter, and that's equivalent to a more traditional 56 centimeter, if you want to get an idea. And I'm 178 centimeters tall, customer similar height. So that's the that's what he's um, he's got. Um, so this the, um, has the deader stem, the DCR semi-integrated stem. And then what we do with these is this is um, it's got the the, um, the the hoses and cables go through underneath the stem and then um, down into the head tube. And then we have a nice loops going in through here and then the electronics and everything in there. And then we've got the matching Dedder DCR integrated headset. So that's the one and a half, one and a half headset. And we've set up uh, John with his bike. This is John's bike, by the way, uh, with a 10 mil lower spacer. We're probably going to lose that, but I've left that in there. And then you get 15 mil with the, the, the cable inlet port. And then we've put a little chimney on the top um, just so he's got plenty of space there to move things around. And then the stem on this is 100 mil. And then we've done our D brand on it as well. So we've taken all the branding off the side. It's a bit garish on these, it's all bright white. Uh, we couldn't take it off the top annoyingly because this is etched in. Messes with my OCD a bit because we've got dead air, stem, and then a pro bar. But that's, uh, I just have to try and sleep with that every night. Anyway, handlebar wise, it's the Pro Discover handlebar. 
We've gone with the 12 flare and it's a 40 wide. We have matched the bar tape, you'll be happy to know. I think that was 50 mil, both sides. And then we've got a new technique underneath here now. So we're just putting a, a little thin five mil strip of um, insulating tape. We've got a special narrow reel. So we put a little five mil underneath just to hold the tape in and then we put our end tapes on. It just makes the, um, the finish flusher there, it looks a bit nicer. And then you don't get the overlap of the the insulating tape which we've seen before um so that's that and then you've got the hoses and stuff all finished nicely there so obviously to the left hand side we've got the di2 cable coming out and then with the x they come standard if you go D, uh, di2 we go standard with the port on the end there whereas the gr20 gravel bike we do we have the little port under here um so this one has it integrated in handlebar that's a bit of a extra bonus we're going with an x so um Group set wise, it's going to have the full DI2 2 by 11 on this. So DI2 matching levers. Obviously, all the um, updates have been done on that, so we plugged it into the into the computer and done that. And then we got the end end connection there, which we said for doing all the adjustments. And then down to the chain set, John's running a 170 mil crank, and then the the teeth on this is the standard 4831 teeth. So two by, obviously DIT matching front mech with all the little details there with the rubber bung tucked in there, just under there with top mount and stuff. Um, so 701 chain, this is just standard, standard treatment out of the packet. We've not done any special chain optimization on that. 1134 Altegra cassette is the standard cassette that you get with the, the GRX DI2 group set. And then we've got the close ratio GRX DI2 mech. Got a little O-ring there to keep the cable all nice and tidy down, down around this area. So that's all done nicely. Bottom bracket on this, it's got the old Tegra. So that is the standard Shimano BBR60. And it's uh, got the Shimano GRX810 brakes as standard, which is what you'd get with the get with this group. So there you go, 810 and it's XTI rotors, and then the rotors are 160 mil. Wheel-wise, what we've done with the wheels on this, it's got the, the absolutely, I mean, these are the brand new gravel 35 hunt wheels. So they're, they're changing them all the time, um, hunt do. They're, they really are on the pulse with keeping everything up to date the best they can. So this is probably the third, I think it's the third iteration of, the hunt gravel wheel that we've seen and we've been fitting to our bikes. So this is the very latest one, asymmetric design. So the, the rims are sort of offset. Um, so carbon 35 rim. And then the, the most uh, interesting thing is the, the rear cassette. So the rear cassette there is the spline style, not, not the cassette, sorry, the free hub body. So they've changed the free hub body out now. Um, so it's the a rotary ratchet system. Uh, more like a DT Swiss wheel rather than the, the little pool system. So that's uh, quite a cool update. And the hub's actually quite a bit smaller on the back now. Doesn't really show very well on the on the video there. Not much comparison, but that's changed that as well. And then we've gone with the Maxxis Rambler tyres. So a favourite of ours. And um, this is uh, John's preference as well out of the choices we gave him because he's used to these. So he's used these before. So these are the more supple 120 TPI version. And then the 740C, I think these are coming out at about 414 grams per tyre. And then we've put 100 mil of orange seal sealant in there as well. And then we'll sort of match that up to his body weight when we work out what tyre pressures to run. Uh, and that's probably covered it sort of reasonably well. I'm under, under 10 minutes, which is good. Not sure if that's going to be good for the new YouTube algorithm anyway, but... We're just showing you the builds that's all. Um, saddle wise, just real quickly, this is the 142. So the narrower Pro Stealth saddle, and this is the performance one. And then it's got our um, 180 mil, uh, sorry, 180 gram carbon seat post on there as well. So I think there's no pedals because he's got the pedals himself. I think that's covered everything. It was just a really quick video because I've got to dash out, get this photograph because we're going to update the website with this build. Um, and that's probably it. So I better get off the video. Need to pack the van up and head down to Exeter for the first of the um, Exeter Gravel series, which is tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.